Today we are going to learn how to study Don Young World. It's a magazine Don't and you. it's well. Before learning how to study Don Young World, we must understand the methods of reading. Because in any kind of lecture which is consisted on English communication skills, first we have to learn the methods and after practically we have to apply those methods on our practical work because it is need of our it is need of English communication skills so the method I'm going to share with you is given by Norman Lewis and he's widely followed all over the world as I mentioned in my previous lectures too so the methods of reading uh, there are three parts of this method so one method I'm going to teach you and it is one of the most effective one. The first point in, in this method how to read is free reading. Free reading is simply whenever you have a kind of target, target of reading 2000 words, 1000 words or even 500 words. So you have to read all the text from beginning to the end without understanding lines of words. Because this exercise is done in order to make our brain informed is it could calculate the amount of energy which we are going to use while performing this task. Then we will move forward to the next point that is read in details. Now read in details means you must be equip equipped with few tools. You must have few dictionaries and even when you are going through the text you have to underline the most difficult words, unique words and even the most beautiful lines as well. You can also underline the structures which are used in the magazine and you are unknown to them. You can also underline them. Because in diary making process we have to put down or write down all the information we are getting from a text. So that is why the method in, in such methods the tools are used. Some some readers use pencil, other use uh, highlighter. So it it depends on you what kind of tools you are going to use. But I have given the names of tools which are necessary. So you have to follow that. Okay. When you are done with the second point, then definitely you will move towards the third point. That is read for review. Now what happens in read for review? Read for reviews basically it's one exercise which saves your time and which unlocks all the data which is already stored in your brain. You started free reading then you uh, went through reading in details. So all the information, all the ideas, all the words you got, you learnt from a text are these all things are saved in your brain. Now by doing review, you will unlock all the information that is available in the text. So this technique is widely followed all over the world as I mentioned earlier. So the tools you need, diary, you must have a diary because vocabulary and expressions are maintained in a diary, not in a notebook. If you want to improve your language, if you want to get your language to the master level, then you need to keep a diary. Without keeping a diary, you will not be able to perform any anything well. Okay, so after diary, you need to keep all the stationery with you. So it depends on you. You are going to use pencil or marker. It depends on you or highlighter. And then the dictionaries. So definitely, I have written the word dictionaries. You do not need to find a single word from a single dictionary. I have, uh, I have mentioned in my previous lectures that different dictionaries have different purposes. One dictionary is best at giving synonyms, the second dictionary is best at giving sentence structures and the third can be best, best at giving uh, one of the finest gram uh, grammatical rules. So that is why you need to use different dictionaries. I am sharing with you the three most beautiful and perfect dictionaries for learning new words, synonyms and a variety of 
English expressions. The first dictionary is dictionary.com. You can uh, get it on the Play Store. The second is Merriam-Webster, and the third is uh, Thesaurus, Pocket th Thesaurus, or now to use uh, Oxford Dictionary for making your understanding broader. And there are so many other dictionaries too. But these uh, three to four dictionaries are okay. Now we are coming to our topic, and we have learned the methods of reading which are commonly followed all over the world all over the globe okay these are a uh, few points by which we can read an article okay how to read down young world find an interesting topic yes definitely you have to find an interesting topic first okay then pen down difficult words and then check them from the dictionaries as i mentioned as i told you underline unique words okay Underlining unique words is a different thing. It is not commonly followed by most most of the people, um, most of the learners in universities because they do not know the proper techniques of uh, remembering words for long, long time, for long lasting effect. So underlining unique words means you are underlining the words which basically represent or reflect the main theme of the topic and if you know the main theme and if you know the list of words which are uh, which is concerned with the main theme then definitely you are going to reproduce all the information within seconds or within minutes this is the technique uh, that is why uh, the authors underline the unique words unique words can be of your choice and you can also underline a word which you know well but the word which is unique it means it it is representing the theme or it is reflecting the major theme of the topic okay underline most effective lines okay uh, most effective lines what i mean the lines which are opening lines the lines which are concluding lines or even the lines which are concerned with events which are concerned with appreciation or the lines which are concerned with the statements or the sayings so these different things come in the effective lines and even uh, in a book in a complete book of uh, 300 pages you can find 250 lines 200 lines or even the most unique lines can be 60 or 70 you can read a complete book of 300 pages within six hours and Whenever you need to review the same book, you can review it within 5 to 10 minutes. How you will review this uh, 300 pages book within uh, 10 minutes? Because you have already taken out the most beautiful lines, the most beautiful expressions in your diary. That is why I am saying apply this method and you will know the secret of saving time and getting more things. And most importantly, you will be able to reproduce all the information you have just saved okay and last review all the article it means you are done with reading now you have uh, done all the suggested things in in the text in the books or in the article now you have to just read out the unique words underlined words underlined lines and opening sentence and concluding sentence you do not need to go through all the text from beginning to end because the 1000 words used in a single article are not of complete use we are going to use only uh, we are going to use only uh, i think uh, not more than 60 words or 50 words so these 50 to 60 words including lines are the most beautiful expressions and they are the theme representing things which we need the most so we have to do let's okay. see what is the topic I have uh, chosen this article because I have found it most useful the story time perfection is an illusion okay uh, the topic is perfection is an illusion means there is no perfection in the world now let's see what is the theme of author and what is the opinion of author and which theme is going to be represented in this article okay lily and i were old friends we had been together in school for almost five years our mothers were old friends too 
means this story is all about Lily and I means there there would be a character here so let's read out what kind of relations they have and definitely I'm going to apply the same method which I suggested so go through these article slides and give it a free reading I'm waiting for you so uh, go through the slides and uh, get a get a preview of the whole text first then we are going to apply the method the second point in the method which I suggested earlier okay we are done with a preview reading now I'm going to do reading in details okay Lily's sister, uh, Lily's sister was two years older, older to her. Her name was Lola. She was very sharp in her studies, whereas Lily was, was not. My, my friend was quite intelligent too, but consi considerably less as compared to her sister. So it's, uh, it's a story about two sisters. Lily possessed qualities which aren't considered praiseworthy praiseworthy means appreciated and possessed she owned the meaning of possesses uh, means she owns the qualities praiseworthy appreciation by some people she was reserved and quiet reserved means a person who does not have much time to give other people and a person who is always busy in doing uh, doing some work some task so we we call call such people they are reserved and quiet quiet means simply they do not talk so much she observed a lot a lot and spoke little she loved reading journal knowledge books as well as novels and she liked writing articles and stories so this is the introduction of lily now see in the opening of the article we have got a paragraph which is introductory paragraph about Lily okay so this is Lily's introduction I have weird handwriting <laughs> well moving towards on the other hand now on the other hand it's a connector you can also uh, underline it if you need to use in your writing skills Lola had no interest in reading and writing Although she was very intelligent and sharp, she never read anything except her course books. She was an interested. Uh, she was interested in taking part in different competitions. Though Lola's teachers were very happy to have such an active and bright student, they always appreciated her because she never failed to secure the highest position in the class and took part in uh, co-curriculum activities at the same time. So this is the introduction of Lola. This this was of the Lily this was of the Lola. Okay. Lily's teachers were also satisfied with her performance in school. However, her mother wanted her to change herself and be a star child like Lola. Means her mother is expecting something else. Okay. And this is the introduction of her mother's psychology and psyche. The mother was rather strict regarding her daughter's studies and performance in exams lola was always appreciated by her by her but lily always got scolded and discouraged scolded means when a child is uh, provided with a bad behavior harsh words angry words we call it scolding okay and you know the meaning of word discouraged so this article uh, tells us the behavior of a mother with a daughter with lily no matter no matter how much she scored her mother never seemed satisfied because lola's scores uh, lola's scores were always higher so lily wasn't bad in studies she just wasn't good enough for her mother's standards you see this is the major point and it is reflecting all all the all the paragraph this paragraph okay and this is the important line okay moving on Lily felt quite upset because of her mother's attitude my mother also told her mother that all the children cannot be the same that parents and teachers should accept them as they are while working for their character building all the time mama tried hard to make her understand 
but it had no effect uh, effect and lily's mother became stricter day by day okay this is uh, the easiest line and i found no word to be underlined because these are very simple words i remember an incident when she displayed high attitude towards my friend's achievement so this is important because it is talking about an event so definitely the events most of the times reflect the theme lily excitedly went to her mother and told that the teacher had just given the class a novel to read and lily had a lady read that over a year ago her mother was not impressed because in her view this was not something to be excited about or proud of what a harsh mother she was means lily was trying to show that she has been working hard but her mother was not ready to accept what was the hard work of lily so this was kind of kind of a harsh behavior with the children and it is always unacceptable in these times okay the brain wash means to instill to indoctrinate or preach your ideas in some other brain brains so she was uh, basically brain washed means she was forced to get the ideas of her mother whatever her mother wanted and she had to follow that okay this way she obviously could not figure out how to solve her exam paper and started gaining marks through cheating means she was not able to get marks with the proper channel so that is why she adopted the method or the way of cheating one day lily was asking an answer from a girl in the examination hall now see she was a kind of girl which which should be which should have been appreciated when she couldn't perform when she was not able to perform well she adopted such a bad way okay uh, i found the two words here okay now lily was suspended from the school for a week for cheating during the examination all her exams were cancelled and it was written on her report card that she had resorted to unfair means in the examination now see what a beautiful line it is resorted she had resorted to unfair means in the examination now it is not uh, written that she was copied she was copied is just a simple line but it it is one of the most powerful statements she had resorted to unfair means in the examinations so uh, note down this this line and uh, you will love this line when you use it in your own language whenever you are going to uh, writing anything okay lily's mother was too upset it uh, at this day at this lily and her parents were called for a meeting at the school before meeting her parents lily's class teacher and principal had a talk with her because they were surprised that a good and well behaved student like lily had acted in a such wrong manner i think this is also simple one and i have found no difficult word in this line so this article is about means meeting of lily and her teachers and principal lily broke down and apologized for her mistake and poured out everything that she had been failing but had kept locked inside her now here there is a word poured out poured out means she explained expressed so uh, this is a phrasal verb uh, phrasal verbs are always beautiful so write the, write this word down pour out pour out means to show to express things or grief whatever you can you do want to write or check it in different dictionaries as well you will find beautiful words let on the principal meet with her parents after sending lily out lily out with the class teacher she told them that the lily had gotten into the habit of cheating because of the pressure she felt yeah definitely to meet and the realistic expectations at home when she did a base she faced discouragement and degradation now here is a word degradation we have to see Okay, the word poured out here means to express emotions. What whatsoever you have in your brain or heart 
they were just expressing their they just pour, uh, pour, poured out pour out this is phrasal verb note it down it's one of the best expressions in english okay let's move on later on the principal made her parents after sending lily out with the class teacher she told them that the lily had got into the habit of cheating because because of the pressure she felt to meet the unrealistic expectations at home even when she did her best she faced discouragement and degradation due to which she failed it necessary to resort to any means to meet the unfair expectations put on her now see that the principal is making her mother understand that you are pressurizing your daughter it should not be done because each and every children has a different set and they have different abilities okay again the principal explained to lily's mother that all the children are not same each has their own skills and every one of them is good in their own way if lola was excellent in studies and took part in extra curriculum activities lily was good in a different way she was not dumb or clumsy dumb or clumsy is uh, this term is used for those students who are not uh, means good at extra curriculum activities and studies as well means they are shy they they not uh, meet uh, to the expectations of parents and all these just he wanted to uh, he wanted to make understand her mother that you are doing a wrong thing with your daughters okay she got good grades and had remarkable interest in reading and writing her abilities were different and she did the best she could in her own way okay here this is a uh, theme uh, paragraph that is why i just encircled it realizing her mistake lily's mother felt very sad that unintentionally she had pushed her daughter too hard to meet her unrealistic demands she realized that each child is perfect in their own way and there should be no comparison among children so you can write this whole paragraph or simply just minimize it within two to three lines for your diary making from then to this is the perfect expression i just love it perfect expression for connecting two paragraphs she started helping both her daughters in their own studies in their studies and appreciated them for what they were uh, they were and not what she wanted them to be now for her their happiness was more important than their their achievements she accepted and loved them just as they were and thanked god that she had such brilliant daughters so this is concluding paragraph so you need to underline that as well okay we have applied all the learned method the points of a single method on here so hope that you have uh, understood how to read down young world and if you have any confusion or any questions you may ask we are this email address this is my official email address so i will always be, always be available for you for answering your questions and i will be looking forward for your questions thank you so much have a nice day